Right, this is a super quick blagged pudding, right? Really, really simple. Using ingredients that are floating about. I've got some bananas, they've definitely seen their best. Uh, I've got some meringue nests, I mean, shop bought. You can definitely make your own. We've got plenty of time. However, these are shop bought ones. I've got double cream that is uh, uh, on today's date, so that's definitely got to be used. Uh, I've got some golden syrup. I've got half a thing of coconut milk. I've got three leftover dates. I've got some dried fruit. And I've got some pine nuts. Now the pine nuts are going to be the thing that brings this together. This is eaten mess, but really it's nothing to do with eaten at all. It's got bananas in it. So the whole thing is, it's just a case of textual flavor, taste, crunch, but a little bit of something extra by using pine nuts. Now pine nuts are lovely. I'm gonna just cook them off in some butter. I'm just gonna let that butter melt and go just a little bit brown and toasty. And then I'm gonna fry them off, make them really, really super toasty with a good pinch of salt. So whilst that's happening here in my bowl, I'm gonna put my cream, double cream, I'm going to use a coconut milk and here I've got some black treacle. Now, black treacle, apart from getting everywhere, being super sticky, I'm going to use that in the cream, okay? So we've got coconut, black treacle and the double cream and I'm going to use that I suppose as the sweetness of this. And I don't, I mean I'm not a big fan of super sweet things anyway, alright? But if you can get that balance and that layer together, it'd be lovely. You can see that butter's just beginning to melt. And it's cream, milk, and treacle. I mean, you can see it goes a lovely, lovely colour straight away. It goes that kind of beautiful, kind of like coffee brown. And just start whisking. Just as that butter's beginning to foam, I'm going to put these pine nuts in, okay? And what happens is they've got natural oils in them as well, and they'll, those natural oils will be released. And as that butter starts foaming and gets all toasty, it's giving it this lovely, toasty, lovely flavor. You could use hazelnuts if you wanted, walnuts, but it's quite nice using pine nuts. They've got a very subtle kind of warmth to them. And just at this point of the cream, I'm just gonna have a little taste of it. That is lovely, this dark, that treacle, the flavor, the coconut is great, but it does need a little touch of extra sweetness. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. Caster sugar would be fine. This is granulated sugar. It's the one that I use for making teas and coffees with for when guests come over. And then I'm just going to continue whisking and then toss me nuts. And keep them moving. You can see they're now beginning to go lovely golden brown. Just don't let them. You don't want them to burn. It's that fine line between being burnt and toasty and nutty. Now at this point seasoned salt so we're going to get a lovely saltiness it's kind of like the idea of this is the salt caramel that you like with chocolate it's the same sort of thing that counterbalance for things that are sweet salty delicious all right and then once they're cooked you drain them on some kitchen roll okay you just keep them to one side and they will finish that cooking process all right whilst continue whisking this cream okay just as that cream now it's got that kind of just going to firm peak it's where we want it to be all right so the bananas they are most definitely ripe and ready to go so in the bottom of the tray I'm gonna put a sprinkling of these bananas and then some of this dried fruit A little bit of these shot ball meringues. So just giving this kind of layer, crunch, texture, chewy, sweetness. Then a few of our salty pine nuts. And on top of that, blobs of our whisked up treacle cream. And then same again. None of this has to be neat, just a case of getting it all kind of sprinkled, mixed in. Bit of the mixed fruit, this is raisins, sultanas, a bit of chopped peel, and a bit more of the crunchy meringue. Another sprinkling of the salty pine nuts. And then the rest 
this cream. Do not leave any in the bowl. And just kind of push it all into the corners. And then on top of that, the dates that I've got chopped. A bit of extra chewy, gooey delight. Just drop them on. A bit more broken up meringue. A few more of the toasted pine nuts. So I'm gonna do a teaspoon black treacle. Just drizzle it over the top. I'm also gonna do the golden syrup. How lush is that? This is not healthy. In fact, it comes with a health warning. Again, this is another one of those dishes for those of you that are doing exercise at home, you've just got to do a little bit more. And for those of you that don't do any exercise at home, you're going to have to start. And that is so going to go in the fridge, sit there for about 15 to 20 minutes. I mean, an hour, doesn't really matter. Very easy, banana eating mess ish. I mean, it's not even like, what's close to an eating mess, eating slough? Slough's close to eating. This is banana slough. 